Today we'll make a rustic cottage wreath. Keep watching. We're going to start off with a thrifted wreath that is in a house form. It is made out of twigs and just kind of tied together here with some twine. This came from the Dollar Tree. It's a little canvas. Very cute. I have a variety of florals. These came from the thrift store. And the little roses as well. These beautiful pink tipped eucalyptus also came from the thrift store. As well as this bouquet of flowers. I'm going to use some wire or some ties, clippers and scissors, and some hot glue. I'm also going to use a little bit of scrap ribbon. I'm just taking a good look at this bunch of flowers to see which ones I want to use. And I'm kind of going to go for what's going to match this canvas. And I really, really like the two-tone here. The foliage is fall themed, I think, um, but that's easy to take off. I'm not going to be deterred by that. These match as well, and the little red roses do. It all coordinates nicely. I'm just going to start by taking my picks apart and taking them stem by stem. I found that it's easier to work with this way going to do the same thing with the rest of my flowers. I want to take the opportunity to welcome all of my new subscribers. You are very welcome here. I welcome conversation and questions. And welcome back to all you guys who have been here for a while. I appreciate your comments and your thumbs up, your sharing, and all of the watch time that I've gotten from you guys. I'm glad that you're enjoying what I've put out enough to stick around. Okay, so now we're going to move on to what we're going to do with this wire here. I'm going to cut these in pieces. Excuse the shaking of my camera there. It's jointed to a table, which is just like a plastic kind of table, and it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. So I'm going to try to find another way to mount that camera so that's a little more stable for you. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to place these down, and because these are twigs in this wreath, it's really easy to just push these down in here. You know I like to use my forms over and over again, so this way I can easily take it out. I use very little glue in this project as far as on the wreath itself. Now I'm going to have to find a way to attach my little canvas on here. It fits nicely, but I want to make sure that it doesn't come loose, so I'm going to make little hairpin twists in these wires, in this floral wire. Simple, simple. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add some glue in the corners with a little piece of scrapped, scrap paper. Be sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoy anything that you see in my videos. It really helps my channel. We're going to go on and do this to all four corners. Guys, I got a new mic. How is it sounding? Does that sound better? A little more clear? I hope so. Okay. So I'm just going to bend these down so they're a little easier to fix here onto this wreath. Press the corners and just twist them around on the back, just like you see me doing here. And we're going to do that to each corner, each piece of wire. I'm going to pull my greenery back out, fluff it just a little bit, get it back into shape. We're going to take a few pieces that I clipped off to just fill in where we need a little bit of extra. I don't throw my scraps away. I keep them in a little basket. 
I have ribbon scraps, I have twine scraps, paper scraps, and I have some foliage and floral scraps. Even the little stems, you can use those again too. I'm going to move on to these two picks, and I only have two of them. So I think this is a good use of those. You can see that this is asymmetrical, that I have one side that's going to be a little bit more full than the other side. You can do yours any way you like, any way that it looks good to you, that it feels right to you, whatever it's going to bring you some joy. See, I'm just going to remove the gold toned piece. I'm just pushing this right through the twine and the sticks and trimming it down. I'm bending the heads of those flowers on the wire so that instead of facing up, they face out. And then I'm just pressing them flat into that breathe. Keep trimming where you need to. And then you notice here I'm going upside down toward the bottoms. This is because I don't want the stems showing. I don't want um, blank spots here. So this helps. And it also helps extend your floral arrangement downward. And I like that look. But again, do whatever is pleasing to you, however you like that. You could always cover up the ends if you can, if you see them with extra little pieces of greenery that you have. So it's nice and filled out here. And any pieces of the longer picks that need to be held down, just make a couple of more of those little pins and press them down into your wreath and they'll stay right where they need to stay. This is going to be an indoor wreath for me, but if you're going to put anything outside, be sure that you are binding it well to whatever wreath form you're using. Really glue it and really twist it down with your wires to make them stay. And see, here's some more little pieces I had left. I'm just going to go back in and fill in where I feel like they need to be. Any bald spots, any thinner spots, whatever looks right. I always try to look at my projects from every angle. I know you've heard me say that before. And then I just go back and add whatever it is that looks like it needs to be added to kind of fill it out. And if you put it on and you don't like it, just pull it out and start over. It's just a little, little glue, a little piece of wire, whatever the case, and it can be taken off. You can fix it. Even after I've gotten things on the wall, I've taken them down and put in more or taken more out. You know, it's, it's just kind of a work in, you know, in progress. And see that slides right underneath that little piece of jute. You can twist anything around with wire. You can twist it around so you can get it facing forward. Pull them out where you can see them. Put them in the back if you want to put it toward the back. It's I've found that florals are really pretty forgiving when it comes to that. And so I felt like it needed a little more. I've just clipped off another piece from another pick. And just added that in the side. I like that it is kind of wild looking. I don't have a problem with the hangover and the way that it sticks out on the top. I mean, in nature, nothing is perfect. Or maybe it is perfect in God's eyes. But, you know, to us, sometimes it doesn't look symmetrical and we want to keep fooling with it. But I think this looks wild and rustic and I, I like that. I think it's very cottagey with the colors and the feminine, um, kind of a feminine tone, I think, in this wreath. Simple little shoelace tie with this ribbon, which I love, and it came from Dollar Tree also. I've bought several spools, and I am using it a lot. Just going to use a little hot glue right underneath the canvas and placing that down. And there you have it. What do you think about it? Do you like the color theme here? I've noticed Dollar Tree has a lot of these little canvases, and you can pretty much pick whatever color you want. They even have some beach themed ones, which are really gorgeous. Be sure that you subscribe if you are interested in budget friendly, friendly DIYs and decor. I do thrift flips and Dollar Tree and inexpensive clearance item um, crafting. And I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Our channel is growing and you are so welcome here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you again very soon.